back, welcome back, welcome back my food lovers. Welcome back to another episode of What's in Her Pot. For today's video, we're just going to be making a simple yet very effective baked ziti. For this episode, stay tuned. <laughs> For today's recipe, we're going to be using equal parts of ricotta and cottage cheese. We're going to need one egg, two tablespoons of sugar, salt and pepper of course, uh, some diced tomatoes in the can. You can use fresh tomatoes. We're going to use some chopped onions, garlic, bell peppers, fresh basil and parsley combined, some oregano, complete seasoning, whatever pasta sauce of your desire, some olive oil and some heavy cream. In this bowl, we have three different cheeses combined. We have a uh, Parmesan cheese, grated Parmesan, three cheeses, the Mexican style, and some mozzarella. Also in today's recipe, I'm gonna be using ground pork and ground turkey. The turkey is a little bit on the leaner side. You can use ground beef if your heart desires, and I will see you back in just We're a minute. We're gonna combine these ingredients in this mixing bowl. The ricotta cheese. Now remember I said it's equal parts. This is about a cup. You're going to put enough depending on the amount of pasta that you're using in this recipe. I've used a box and a half. I'm going to put half amount of garlic in there. Crack one egg. I like to put my egg in a bowl before I do it just in case the egg is uh, has gone bad. Some black pepper. It looks like it's a lot, but actually it's not, I promise. And some salt to taste. Okay, let's open up the bigger side. Or not. Okay, give it a good stir, mix well. I'm gonna add some heavy whipping cream in here. Some oregano. And a little bit of parsley flakes. Okay, in this bowl, like I said, we have three different types of cheeses. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit of the grated Parmesan inside of this mix and we're going to save the rest for later okay okay go ahead and put in a little bit of grated nutmeg you can use the fresh nutmeg or the powdered one whatever you have is fine if you use the fresh one, it brings out a better flavor in this dish. All right, so the water is at a rapid boil. Go ahead and put in your pasta. I'm using the ziti for this recipe. I'm going to use one and about a half a box. Be sure to stir. It's 
So you're gonna stir the pasta so it doesn't stick together, okay? All right, to this we're adding some salt. I'll give it a stir. So don't cook the pasta all the way, just right before it's ready, you're gonna take it off and strain it, because it's gonna finish cooking uh, in the oven when it's being baked, okay? All right, stay tuned. Okay, go ahead and let the pan come to a uh, very hot, and then add some garlic in there. Add your onions. Okay, go ahead and add your ground turkey first. We're going to put some sausage in there, but I think the sausage is going to take a little bit longer to cook, so go ahead and put the ground turkey or ground beef in first. Break it up. Okay, go ahead and add your pork in there. Okay, I'm just going to add in about one and a half teaspoon of chicken bouillon. The complete seasoning that we talked about before. Some black pepper. And a little bit of salt, about a quarter teaspoon, not too much. We're going to put in a little bit of Italian seasoning in here. Some chopped bell peppers. And some parsley and a little bit of freshly chopped basil. Go ahead and add that can of chopped tomatoes in there.
And you can add your favorite uh, pasta sauce or any kind of marinade. And we're going to put a lot of sauce in here because remember, we're going to be adding the pasta as well. So you need just enough to make sure everything is covered. So the tomatoes that I'm using in the can, the diced tomatoes are actually roasted tomatoes. It's going to give it an extra flavor, that nice smoky taste to it. Mix in well. Let's add a little bit more. I gotta stir carefully because I don't wanna make a mess. This is pretty full, almost to the rim. Doesn't that look good? Okay, let's add in some oregano. Give it a quick stir. We're going to turn this down to like a low medium. We want this to simmer for a bit. Let the juices soak in. Look how pretty guys let's zoom in look how pretty that looks look at that this is going to be awesome So let's go ahead and put the sauce into the pasta. We're going to mix this together. Put a generous amount. So this sausage, pork sausage mixed with the ground turkey gives it a really nice flavor, a really good combination. Okay. Mix well. I wish you could smell it. We're going to leave back a little bit because we're going to put that at the bottom of the baking dish to prevent sticking. Okay, so in this bowl, we have our three cheeses, the three Mexican cheese. We have Parmesan cheese and, and mozzarella cheese. Go ahead and put a nice helping of all three. We're gonna mix this together. We want it to be nice and gooey inside. Get back in there. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna put a little bit of this sauce in there. It'll make sense in the end, just a little. And we're gonna keep the remainder to spread a layer in our baking dish. Go ahead and be generous with the cheese. Don't be afraid to go in there. There's plenty more where this came from. Mmm. All right, let's go ahead and prep the dish for baking. Go ahead and put some of the remaining sauce at the bottom of the pan. This is gonna help prevent it from sticking. Okay, now this pot is very heavy. Let's pour, we're gonna pour about mm, a good bit, almost half of this in here. Oh, look at that. Look at that cheese, guys. Ooh. Pour the sauce in there, and you're going to spread it around. Try to spread it evenly throughout. Okay, wash my hands. Be sure to wash your hands, guys, throughout the process. Dirty hands equals dirty food. Okay, go ahead and spread some cheese on the top. This is going to be cheesy and gooey, just the way I like it, or should I say just the way my kids like it. Guess we're making more than one today, huh? This is a lot of food, guys. 
Okay, let's go ahead and top it off with the remaining of the Parmesan cheese. And this is a mixed uh, Mexican cheese as well. It's going to give it a nice contrast and some mozzarella. Make sure you get the corners. Okay, go ahead and sprinkle some parsley on there. This dish is crammed, guys. <laughs> this can feed about <laughs> maybe 20 people. I'm exaggerating, but. And it's ready for the oven. I'm gonna put that on top of a baking sheet because there's a good chance it's gonna overflow and I do not want to clean the oven. Go ahead and preheat the oven to 350. And we're gonna set it for about 30 minutes. All right, stay tuned. Look at that, yes people. Mm, mm, mm. So I put it back in there for about five minutes on high broil. Looks like it's pretty done to me.